Choke, no joke, Chiggy choke, no joke. Choke, no joke, Chiggy choke, no joke. You know what it is. Whoo! Jesus Christ, y'all. We had an interesting last 24 hours. I didn't go live yesterday. Uh, I guess it was for a reason. Because Jesus, a lot happened in the last 24 hours. But I'm here now. And we're going to get into it. So let's get into it. I right? choke no joke. I'm in the building. Choke no joke. No joke. You know what it is. You know what it is. Tell this 10-year-old boy I'm getting some new dick or something. Check. Yeah. Choke, no joke. Know what it is. This go out to the Desperate Housewives in New York, Atlanta, Texas, California, Miami, Mississippi. I never thought in my life Not me I fall for another man's wife Oh God I know that it sounds trite I'm caught up with a desperate housewife yeah. I never thought in my life Not me I fall for another man's wife Oh God I know that it sounds trite I'm caught up with a desperate housewife It was quick how it happened We was just chatting Had a lot in common I kept the laugh in the department in which a man was lacking. He was the king of the ship. So my I became captain. My swag on platinum. All my gold DJ smacking. Then phone sex had happened. Things went left. I calm and interest in sex. Something like little Kim and you have. We knew if we met, it would be electric. Then the day came and we met. It was beyond my dream. A dream so sweet it made me scream. It was like a dream. Knew why he made a queen. I wanted to find Marty McFly and use that time machine. Run up in the church, create a scene. Object to that wedding and give him my ring. Like, uh. I never thought in my life, not me. I fall for another man's wife. Oh God, I know that it sounds trite. I'm caught up with a desperate housewife. Yeah. I never thought in my life, not me. I fall for another man's wife. Oh God, I know that it sounds trite. I'm caught up with a desperate housewife. I fell harder than a mother, my number one lover. Yo, under them covers was like no other. Had everything in common. I used to love her until he bugged her. Bitch, motherfucker. Device in the whip. Had to call it quits. Hit us like a brick. We both sick. Now she got a dilemma. Like Kelly, the kids. I'm calm. Wish I never met the chick. Missing her seafood and our trips. Sex in the soul house, we did that shit. Sexing on the tent, we risked that shit. We both freaky as fuck, I miss my chick. Well, never mind, there to take him off of mine. Kindred spirits, just a long time. Get divorced, you can hear my line. Until I repent, it's next lifetime. Like, I never thought in my life, not me. I fall for another man's wife. Oh God, I know that it sounds trite. I'm caught up with a desperate housewife. Yeah. I never thought in my life, not me. I fall for another man's wife. Oh God, I know that it sounds trite. I'm caught up with a desperate housewife. Joke, no joke. You already know. It's that south side of Eden Wall flow. We out of here.
check it out. Choke no joke, learn from mistakes. DJ S and S the great. It ain't no telling, you be a first time felon. No telling, when you be a first time felon. It ain't no telling, you be a first time felon. No telling, when you be a first time felon. Best day of my life, no sleep all night. Broke day for weeks, my cash was right. My combo tight, take our loot, unite. 23 hour shifts, had a see loot like Mike. Cash lovely, yeah, Dougie. How could this day get so ugly? Wifey about to pop, like some bubbly. Yo, doodles now most, you really bug me. Felt like a star, cop first car. Get up with the guard, what it is, baby, pa. Hip about the cop a van, get up with our mans. Before we reached our low spot, toes blam. Underwear, what happened? Discussing the clapping. It wasn't loud, ain't shit gon' happen. Me being stupid, instead of getting they moving, this nigga kept chefing, like the woo one. Then we heard a knock, no one knew of this spot. Six niggas in the spot, six niggas not. Ain't no telling, you be a first time felon. No telling, when you be a first time felon. It ain't no telling, you be a first time felon. No telling, when you be a first time felon. It ain't no telling, you be a first time felon. No telling. In the precinct, all them even It's good cop, bad cop, shit got me steaming No, I was caught, I ain't give a fuck Had jokes like the user suspects line up Book time's up, came back fuck Shirt wrinkled up, the pigs rough me up Time's up, heard them clink of the cuffs Niggas was so deep, they had to call on the bus Everybody the checks outside waiting on us Like ghetto celebs, our cells ain't plush Five in the book and gave a whooping He never forget, they gotta be split Up in the courtroom, they causing ruckus Everybody the jacks, waiting on us Try to bail us out, that thought got thrown out Bill one so I couldn't be half in the gal Hopped out, that's what first fell in the bow Back on the bus, right is the row Wifey in the courtroom, crying out We love y'all with tears running in their mouth Telling you be a first time felon, no telling when you be a first time felon. It ain't no telling you be a first time felon, no telling when you be a first time felon. Jim, legal hustle, MAGA. You know what it is. It's choke, no joke about Kilman Heat. Left my boo with my dudes when I saw the heat. Was going in 30 seconds, more like 23 Took flight like Mike, number 23 Before the indictment came I split like Jada, didn't get wet like Kane Got out the game I went from the tunnel, now movie making So it ain't no confusing why you do me hey. Cats, the niggas that be on the gram, tell them what they doing. <laughs> choke, no choke, you know what it is. Yo, y'all niggas with a stay DL, down low. Stop flossing, man. What you, you, what you just, you just want them to just come and get you? Learn from our mistakes, man. That's what this is about, learn from mistakes. Choke, no joke. Let's go, you already know, make it low, let's go. My aim was enlightened, drop jewels on you. You thinking I'm jealous, I ain't got cheddar like you. I'm the dude to a game, you got school. Was a local cat, snatch you when I made moves. Yeah. I'm paranoid and preaching, you was sleeping. Knew you was sneak deep and couldn't see us beefing. Learn from mistake, don't show I got cake. Impress a nigga to rob me, bitch in my face. Get knocked by the fence, lay up four by eight. So busy flossing, ain't thinking about Jake. Loose, yapping, they wiretapping, videotaping, your ways in action. Front like Tom's hard, two door garage, ice like Liberage, with no damn jaw, without a reasonable doubt. You think you Jay Z with your platinum jewelry? He got a job, B. You shining on doctors with four degrees, laughing because I'm broke, I'm broke on the streets. Stay DL, PDL is L. You ain't DL when your name ain't Bell. Let's 
Castro. For beef, we not dolo. For cash, you go solo. Thought I was your man, shot me down like Manolo. Thought I was your partner when you played me was whack. No niggas dust that I wouldn't flip like that. What gives? See your man struggle while you live? That's some shit. Struggling. Give you the kicks. Used to stick for gooses. Warm when we pump deuces. Break night in the jacks. Trying to see millions like Bruce. Love. You don't act like you used to. I'm the dude. When niggas was friends. You like, no joke, I'm new. I wet you like McClain for those who claim to be pain. The game of death. That's what you get. We got game. Ill with automatics. We're never static. You carry that niggas. Put one in your cabbage. Fear. Don't have Fill me with laughter. In OG and C, then I'm original gun clapper. Like Dan Gadapper, see a mill be Casper. Like Dre the doctor, the map for map them. Say DL, be DL and Zell. You ain't DL when your name ain't Bell. Say DL, be DL and Zell. You ain't DL when your name ain't Bell. Say DL, be DL and Zell. You ain't DL when your name ain't Bell. Nigga, y'all loud. Thinking with your pockets, cop the ice locket. She somewhere in Houston, you blew like a rocket. Her seed was bait, through the line she caught it. Gave her all that loot, but she couldn't afford it. Praying to them bitches, y'all I'm feeling him. Blue puff in your face, daddy, all about Benjamin. Remember me, I'm your friend to the end. Like Chucky, used to slay bitches like Buffy. Thinking why they cuff me, think of the luxuries you had. And it's out with other willies you brag. Push the big bends with 20 year trims. Went in the club, Chris for all my men. Sitting across the bar, what's up, star? Back to reality, you back in bars. You chose not to listen, had the age class glisten. Knew the rules of the game, you played yourself on position. Stay DL, be DL and L. You ain't DL when your name ain't Bell. Stay DL, be DL and L. You ain't DL when your name ain't Bell. Stay DL, be DL and L. Yo, son, yo, son, yo, son, that son is me, yo. I see. Me. You ain't noticed me, yo. I All see. All these man. diamonds and stuff, yo. How can it's I not? Fast diamond ring I got, yo. Yo, yo what you talking about, yo? yo diamonds, yo. yo. You know what I'm saying? Yo. 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 I got $35,000 on me right oh now. Oh, my God. Nigga, I can show you the money right now. I can Look. show you the money. Oh, no, you ain't gonna show me nothing, I can show man. You my gun, yo. What? Yo. Oh, my yo. God. The gun, yo. What's your name? What's the matter with you? Put that shit away, yo. You act like you scared of something, nigga, yo. Yo, I'll take my stay DL, right man. Now, yo. You know what I'm saying? Stay DL. Yo, the jewels, everything, yo. Shh. Everything, yo. Yo, yo, you heard about Dave? Choke, no joke. Yeah. It's choke, no joke. Let's go. Supreme bigger figure, big cap, the war in, the club king. The DJ Johnny Walker Red. MC Frank Jigger, the celebrity's choice. Sean Brophy, sound engineer. Choke, no joke, legendary videographer. Sterling Cox, I was the head of security. Alpha Grinny. My name is V. Omega. Big G. It's Ben Rock from the legendary Naughty by Nature. That was Peter Ghost, LOX, D Block. It's Tech Smith and Wesson. LB Fan, Mr. Cheeks. The Cool, the DJ, the Red Alert. Kid Capri. The Tunnel was a hip hop movie. It was the epicenter. It was the domain, the temple. It was the mecca. Nothing was that melting pop of hip hop. They kept the paradigm going. It's almost like what Rucker did for street basketball. The Tunnel was that of music industry. My Sunday ritual going to the Tunnel was, I'm telling you, your ass better be there. You just pretty much did push ups. We had to drink. A couple bottles of Hennessy. Go get smoke. Just leave the jewelry and watches at home. Before you even get to the tunnel, you gotta get on the block. You started from 11th Avenue, and when you got to that door, the search procedures was no other. First time I ever heard of take your shoes off, open your mouth, was in the tunnel. It was damn near anything but a full cavity circle. Security at the tunnel was no joke. The beatdowns did happen. Some of them, if you had that chain out, that shit was leaving with one of them niggas. We had a handful of cats when we were taking you out. They were digging in your pockets. The coat check at the tunnel was crazy because you ain't know if you was going to get your shit back. Sometimes the bloops happen where you might not get your coat. A lot of boys wanted to get their girls some fur coats, you know. So, I mean, it was free.
The bar was always on tilt at the tunnel. You might get fake alcohol. Bartenders might have got counterfeit. The dance floor was always rocking. It looked like a video all the time. The tunnel had a very unique situation at the bathroom. It was co-ed. The bathroom was Solomon Gomorrah. I was like this, looking, trying to look past the dudes like when they was going in the urinal. The tunnel was a one-stop shop. They had food, they had alcohol, drugs. I saw weed the tub. It was just oozing money. Backstage is like the club amongst the club. That's where all the so-called stars who were scary to be in the crowd, that's where they hung out at. The dopest things about the tunnel for me to remember is hearing my records get played up in there. The top maybe of all time tunnel banger. Or well, anything bad, boy. Every Biggie record, any shit by whole. Shook one was bananas in there. Nori Capone, that bang bang. Andy up. Any one of Buster joints. Wild out with that because he started a fight. The best performance i ever seen, Jay-Z performed in front of the DJ booth. The DJ booth was bouncing like a ball. Snoop and Dre. When Dre was there. DMX, get at me, dog. The king of the tunnel was Jay-Z. Buster around. DMX is the king. Queen of the tunnel. Mary J. Blige. Foxy and Lil' Kim. E. King of the tunnel record label-wise was Def Jam. Bad boy. The best DJ at the tunnel was Flex. Big cap, all day. Flex used to break off the record but he used to try to bully cap, like, don't spin this, because when I get it, I want to spin it. No, nigga, fuck wrong with you. What the tunnel did for artists is solidify their street music. That gave us a platform, set up Rough Riders, Rockefeller, Bad Boy, slew of other artists. The closing of the tunnel, it was kind of sad because that was a big piece of hip hop. So losing the tunnel was like a little kid losing Disney. A famous mosque closing down. I think when the tunnel closed, it was necessary. Niggas was coming to miss it. When you hear people of the late 70s, I talked about Studio 54. The tunnel is the Studio 54 of hip hop. You already know I'm in the building. What's going on, y'all? How y'all feeling out there? Man, happy Friday to y'all. It's been one of those weeks. I don't even know where to begin. Well, I think I can begin with... Uh, which is not up here. And my title is The Girl Shonda Brooks Puts Out a Video Today. Hold on, y'all. Let me let them know what's going on here. Ayana, what up, love? Yeah, I got so much stuff to talk about today. I don't, man. Rest in peace, Kevin Samuels. Y'all women are some cold individuals, ladies. What's up, baby? I don't understand how some of y'all are celebrating this man's death. Like, that is kind of crazy to me. Like, y'all women, are, some of y'all, he must have really touched the nerve. Tell me, minds, what up? But um, rest in peace to Joel from Death Row. Y'all know the voice. She's the she's the the voice of Death Row Records. Miss Chalet was the voice of Ruthless. Joel was the voice of Death Row, and we lost her today in the last twenty four hours, along with Kevin Samuels. I I don't know to yo yesterday I and usually when I wear my Versace cologne it be weird energy I I be like I don't know if it's uh, in my head or something but I stopped wearing the goddamn Versace uh, Versace cologne because I be like yo everything's so always something crazy always happen when I wear the Versace so I wore my Chanel last night and it was. 
crazy, so it ain't got nothing to do with the clone, as I can see. I'm over here tripping. Now, the, uh, I'm going to start off with, with Shauna. I got footage from the Mary J. Blige party last night. I'm going to show you all that, which was very intimate. It was an intimate party. Like, if you, you wasn't somebody, you probably wasn't in that, uh, that party. Like, it was, I don't know, that guest list was very limited. It was an open ball all night. It was free food all night. And I think I had about four or five drinks and I sampled so much food. But I, when I tell you I was on the toilet all day, like I don't know what I ate, what I drunk, but everything was just running through me. Like I took a detox or something. And oh my God, when I tell you I ain't get nothing accomplished today, like, I'll get up and try to do something, and I'm like, oh, I got laid like that on my stomach. Oh, I'm running back to the toilet. I don't know what it was in, in them drinks. I don't know. Then, in the Mary J. Blige party, I had on my, y'all know my red choke no joke hat, the Beyonce inspired one. Where's the hat at? Oh, let me see. I had this hat on yesterday, right? Now, a lot of y'all don't know, or probably wasn't paying attention, but I cut my damn hair, right? I got tired of all the hair, everybody growing hair, everybody want to have hair, everybody want to have dreads and braids, all the I cut mine off. Ah, I don't want to be in the, uh, everybody growing hair right now. So I cut mine off. So I cut mine off and I cut myself. Yeah, I know I, I shape myself over. If I don't go to New York to Rich to get a haircut, I'm not letting nobody cut my hair. Like, I had the same barber for goddamn 20 years. And every time I sit in somebody's chair, they ruin it. So I cut my own hair. If I'm going to be mad at somebody, I'm going to be mad at me. But the event was sponsored by Pepsi. So they said, um, sir, you have to remove your hat. I said, why? They said, because it's a competitor. I said, what's the competitor? Your hat. You have on a Coca-Cola hat. I said, lady, you read, lady. I said, this is my name. And she said, oh, choke. I said, yeah. She said, yeah, but it looks like Coke. I need you to take it off. I said, miss, are you serious? She like, yeah. I was like, all right, it's Mary J. Blige. I don't want to be looking like the person who started in trouble or can't, you know, everybody got on a hat. My hat looks like Coca-Cola. I get it. And I took off this hat because I was wearing this one. And they was like, no. So I had to run around through the party all night looking like this. No goddamn lineup. My hair looking crazy. I ain't have a comb. I haven't combed my hair. And I'm in the party like this all night. I'm fly. I got my suit on and everything. But I'm walking around the party looking like this. So as y'all can see, I still have hair. Yes, I do. I just cut it all off. But I could grow it back like that. It ain't nothing. Right? So <laughs> I'm like, man, I'm privileged to be here. It's a very private intimate party i know the promoter i know the people that work with mary and just that i'm not going to cause no problem i'm going to walk around here nappy headed uh but i'm still handsome so i don't mind so i walked around with my hand i wasn't trying to even reveal that i cut my hair but it was it was off so you know a lot of people look like is that choke like nah that ain't choke because he got hair yeah it was cool. It was cool. But let me get it. Like, since I talked about the Mary party, let me show y'all a little bit of that. 
and then we'll get it to Kevin Samuels and Joel and then Zeno and Shauna. Then I got some weird stuff that I found out. Uh I told you, I told y'all about the story about the girl that was in the uh, notorious movie. Remember, I was telling y'all about that story. Well, I got uh an update on that story too, which spooked me like crazy. I'm still twisted behind it. But let me let me uh, give y'all a little bit of Mary. Shout out to Misa. Shout out to Mary. Shout out to Kenny Burns, AJ, Two Chains. Of course, DJ SNS and Wifey. Uh, who else was in there last night? Ty. That's my new dance partner, Ty. Mimi's ex girlfriend, man, WNBA player. That's my new dancing partner right there. Yeah. That's my new dancing partner. Let's get into this though, real quick. And uh, officially, May 5th is now Mary J. Blige Day in Atlanta, y'all. Mary J. Blige got her own day in Atlanta. Dope, dope, dope. And I was a part of the ceremony. I was there. All right. I see Mary go from singing backup for uh, Father MC, because that's my introduction to Mary J. Blige. I'll do for you. What you do for me, I'll do for you. What you do. Go look at a Father MC video, I'll do for you. And look at the, the young girl in the background with all the energy. She was nobody, but she was Mary J. Blige then. And I'm like, who is that girl? That girl is a star. Later on, she became Mary J. Blige. That's my introduction to Mary J. Blige. See her in the Father MC video singing back up because she just had so much energy. I mean, I'm like, yo, who is Shorty in the background? She gonna be a star. And she turned around 30 years later. I'm standing in the room with her and she getting her own day in the um in Atlanta. Like you talking about seeing somebody go from the, the their beginning to now and be in the room with them. For me sitting in my little apartment room watching video music box, seeing this girl in the background to now, like, not even mention power and legends and all the millions of albums that she sold. I can pick a star. Trust me. I know a star when I see one. I know somebody that got talent when I see one. That's why I've worked with so many great people. All right. But let's uh let's get to this. All right. Uh Instagram. Yeah, y'all gonna have to uh come to YouTube to see this. And I ain't even put the link in the bio. Oh, if you go on my stories, the link is in the, in my stories. All right. DD, what up? Happy birthday. All right, let's get into this married footage, y'all. I'll spin the camera. Pepsi is our official partner for the Strength of a Woman Festival. Chauncey, how you doing, brother? All right, all right, thank you, KB. Oh, sorry. Hey. The queen is here. Right. Hey, the queen is here. But um, I'm gonna, I want to get to the queen in a second because I got a lot to say about this woman right here. Um, but first and foremost, you know, we're just happy to be in the city of Atlanta. The city of Atlanta, ATL. What's up, ATL? Um, on behalf of Pepsi, we are so honored to be able to partner with the Strength of a Woman Festival. Um, when this idea first came to us, uh, Mrs. Shauna Ayers, Ashana Nicole. Ashana, give a shout out. And Nicole, Shana, Nicole you, 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 you know, the first thing, and I, when she talked to me about it, I was like, wow. And uh, I think I called up Derek Lewis. Is Derek Lewis here? Yeah. All right, Derek Lewis, Pepsi legend, is in the house. Shout out to Derek. First thing we talked about, we were like, no brainer. We called Adam Harder, the deal maker, the Pepsi deal maker, and we made this happen really fast. So shout out to everybody on the Pepsi side who's been able, to, been able to kind of collaborate and make this happen. Super appreciative of everyone. Now, uh, Miss MJB, uh, you know, we sat down, uh, we had some sun goddess. Uh, no. No, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, Listen, for me, this is, this is personal. It's a business no-brainer, but this is personal. I'm from New York, I'm from 914. 
I grew up on what's the 411, huh? I grew up on I grew up off real love, you know, and, and, and Mary, Mary, Mary was our she showed us the way. She showed us when we were in the in, in the clubs and parties, she showed us how to mix in emotions with, with the song and the vibe. And uh my mother was a long time Mary fan. We talked about this. And listen, uh, what this what this woman means to our culture, you know, and, and of course it was personal to me, but when we when we lost the partnership, I saw the woman and started talking to the women that were coming out. You have so much love. And listen, what Mary means to us up until now is nothing about what she's about to do. And so, Mary, congratulations on Strength of Woman. We're going to have a great time this weekend. Hey, before before I get to the mic, it's a special woman here. Today I'm celebrating 16 years anniversary of marriage with my wife. My wife, Dale, where you at? Where's she at? 16 years, my wife. Yeah, 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 you did it all right there. Yeah, happy anniversary, thank you. Um, but, but listen, Mary, thank you very much. Enough of this. We're going to give you, we're going to give you married wife. We'll give back to KB. All right, thank you, man. Make some noise for Chauncey Hamlin and uh, Pepsi team. They jumped out there and sponsored this amazing event. Uh, Mary, welcome to the A. We love you here. You know, it's your second home. And we have some Atlanta City Council members that want to do something for you. Uh, Atlanta City Council, can y'all join us real quick? And bring that proclamation. Today is officially Mary J. Blige Day this month. I'm sure it's coming. <laughs> you clown. <laughs> Good evening. I am Andrea Boone, a member of the Atlanta City Council. Yeah. There was nowhere in Atlanta, Georgia, more important than being here That's with that. a living legend. Yeah. Yeah. Mary J. Wyatt. We love you. We do love you and being by your side. So I am joined today by Ms. Milana Williams from the Mayor's Office of Entertainment, Film and Entertainment, the Honorable Keisha Sean Waits, and the Honorable Liliana Batiera. We stopped by here to honor you, our living legend, Mary J. Blige. Yeah. Let them know what it means. Thank you again. On behalf of our mayor and Atlanta City Council, in recognition of Mary J. Blige, in celebration of Strength of a Woman Day, whereas Atlanta City Council recognizes Grammy Award winning singer and songwriter, Oscar nominated actress, and philanthropist Mary J. Blige, as we celebrate Strength of a Woman Day. Oh no, you're gonna pick up where you left off? Here we go. <laughs> you still didn't know where you left All right, whereas, influenced at an early age by the music of Aretha Franklin, Chaka Khan, and Gladys Knight, she brought her own gritty, urban rooted style, fusing hip hop and soul with honest, frank lyrics, that's right, to the world for music, in the world of music. Across the world, she is loved for her passionate, chart topping hits like Be Without You, No More Drama, and Family Affair, all of which have made her a force in the industry. And whereas throughout her accomplished career, Blige has released more than a dozen albums, all of which have reached the top 10 on Billboard 200 chart, including four number one albums, and she has made a successful transition to television and film, a career that includes two Academy Award nominations, two Golden Globe nominations, yeah. and a Screen Actors Guild nomination, yeah. among many other accolades. Yeah. On today, the city of Atlanta proclaims today, Mary J. Blige Day here in the city of Atlanta. Yeah. Yeah.
Let me tell y'all something about a clear observation that I have. I've been doing camera work too long. Do y'all notice that none of the cameramen there got a light on their camera? Like they was getting there expecting it to be lit up. You don't see that they all standing in the dark. Nobody has a camera on their light. Bunch of rookies, bunch of rookies. That's just my uh, observation. That's it. Let me move on. <laughs> 200 chart, including four number one albums, and she has made a successful transition to television and film, a career that includes two Academy Award nominations, two Golden Globe nominations, yeah. and a Screen Actors Guild nomination, yeah. among many other accolades. On today, the city of Atlanta proclaims today Mary J. Blige Day here in the city of Atlanta. Excuse me. Right here, guys. Mary J. Blige got her own day, ATM. The dream is real. Ashana Hands, we salute you, Queen. This is amazing. Pepsi, thank you. Chauncey, D. Lou. I can have one right here, please. Thank you. Have one, one right here, guys. What we really want to know Everybody is what will Monet be back, Mary? Like we need Monet this fall. We need Monet. Ace. <laughs> <laughs> and your S. We got to hear from the Queen. Hold on. Make some noise for the proclamation. Mary J. Blige Day is officially in full effect. Thank you, Atlanta City Council. We love and appreciate you. Thank 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 you. Um, wow, thank you so much. Thank you, ATL, for this warm, warm welcome for the Strength of a Woman uh, Festival. My first festival ever. This is not a tour. This is big business. This is something that I own that is similar to the Essence Festival. So every Mother's Day, we will be here in Atlanta celebrating the strength. I wonder why I was holding that glass, not because I'm a drunk or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready to get, you know, I'm ready to do it, but um, I wanted to toast with everyone this special night. Hold on, y'all. One second. It's another part to this. Miss MJ Bait. Here we go with some light, okay? Help me get this far and help me get to this moment right here. I want to thank, first of all, um, Live Nation for being amazing partners. Live Nation Urban. Um, I want to thank Chauncey for that night at Nobles for being real, being real, 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 because you know, people sit down and be like, yeah, 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 and nothing ever happens, but this happened. And I want to thank um, Ashana. We love you, Ashana. Ashana and my, my baby, my right hand, Nicole, for being two of the hardest working women in the business. And, 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 and but we're going to take it back a little further. I got some family here tonight that helped me get here. You know, Misa helped me bring this here. Yeah. And, you know, yeah. with, with her and Puff, you know, get, you know, pushing us and showing us a lot of things to do. They have been inspirations to us. But I want to say thank y'all so much to my family that's here, my friends, my loved ones, for the strength of a woman. Ooh, I'm about to curse up in here. Nurse. <laughs> Got your own day. Um, and, 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 for, and for this special day, ladies, this Mary J. Blige slash Strength of a Woman Day in Atlanta. Man, I just want us all to raise a glass and say thank you so much. Thank you to my people, my sis, that, you know, my sister, my big sister Latanya's back there somewhere, Simone, 
Um, my girlfriend Simone. Hey, I love y'all. I don't want to keep y'all. Yo, SNS, you know what to do? Let's celebrate these beautiful women that have given me the key, not the key, but a Mary J. Blige day in Atlanta. And Atlanta, Atlanta, thank you so much. We're gonna have a crazy good time this weekend. Celebrating the strength of a woman. And we only just got started because y'all know how far we come. Thank you. Congratulations to the Queen, Mary J. Blige. Congratulations to the Queen. I know y'all want to see us turn up on the floor. I'll, I'll upload that up separate. I'll upload it. Y'all know how I did on the dance floor. I got to dance with Mary J. Blige, boy. What? Boy, I love my life. Don't you hate on me. <laughs> Don't you hate on me? <laughs> I was on the dance floor with Mary, boy. Y'all don't know. It was lit. Oh, man, it was lit. Let me see. I think I got one more clip for y'all from the party. Just one more. Just one more. Just one more. Just one more. Let me just give y'all one more. This is going to be a short one. This is going to be a short one. Just some one more. It was late. It was late. Shout out to DJ SNS. He's officially Mary J. Blige, official DJ. That's big. My boy SNS, my DJ SNS. All right? My man, he done blew up on me. <laughs> SNS, the official DJ for the Mary J. Blige, man. Y'all understand how dope that is. <sighs> And the music, you know how I make as and that's do. The music is always lit. So uh make sure y'all subscribe and like, you know, if you new here, you will always get exclusive content from Choke No Joke. You get mad exclusive content from your boy Choke No Joke, man. You dig? Yeah, so. Let me move on. Once again, shout out me, sir. Kenny Burns, SNS, Shauna, uh, AJ, Two Chains, Candy. Shout out Candy. I made an oath that I could never say nothing bad about Candy. <laughs> me and Candy had a, a talk last night. It was so funny. But I won't talk about it. I promise to that. So I can't talk about it. But I got love for Candy. That's my Taurus sister. It was a lot of ladies in the building last night. I felt like I was the only fella in there dancing with all the ladies, as usual. They be scared. They be scared. But I be on them. It was this one lady. She, ooh, she danced with me. I love a woman that, that dance. She danced with me every chance she got. And I had a good time. I had a good time. My stomach's still getting right. 
from all that drinking because I ain't no, I'm not a drinker. But I'm feeling I'm feeling a lot better. I didn't whatever it was, everything I was drinking was Tito's, but I didn't have a hangover. But I don't know that liquor mixed with that food gave me uh, the runs, boy. But that's another story. Moving on past that. Now, the girl or the trans girl, Shauna, she went out and put a disc record out. She went and put out a disc record. I don't even think it's on YouTube yet. Let me see. I'm going to check. Because I'll probably show it to y'all. Uh, it's still not up. This is something that's so new. The first place I seen it was on 50's uh, Instagram. Oh, you know what? I probably could play it on 50 Instagram. Let me see. Oh, yeah, it's here. Let's see. Oh, uh, come on. Come on, let me play. Oh, I know what I can do. Hold on. Let me show you. Let me show you where to go. Okay. All right, I'm back, IG. I'm back. Uh, let me see. <laughs> Now, the reason I'm playing this, is because I need people to be able to see where I'm coming from with this situation. Because if I just talk about it and you're not, familiar with what was going on then um you might be a little lost so let me do a re let me bring you up to speed for those who may have because everybody's not into all this youtube drama and, and and media stuff that be going on so the rapper benzino and slash reality star more recently uh, it was allegations that came out that he was messing with a transgender a woman by the name of Shauna Brooks. Uh, Benzino has denied all allegations. He said he never met Shauna in person. Shauna also agreed that Benzino never met her. Uh, whether she was telling the truth or not, she said they never met. So on top of that, uh, Shauna was quiet for a long time. Then she came out and she spoke uh, saying that her and Benzino had uh, like a verbal relationship. They talked on the phone. They talked. They text. This, that, and the other. Uh, how this all came out was she was corresponding with Benzino. Uh, Benzino's son had his iPad and was with his mother who was Benzino's ex-wife, or I don't know if they got an official divorce. I do remember them getting married. But um, shout out to Rakim and I love, they, I know them from the BX, Boston Road. They family with Althea. Um, I think that's how I met Althea officially. I remember her from the Foxy Brown videos, but um. I officially met her through her family that I know when her and Benzino was together. 
and they did something for a love and hip hop show or it was a reception or something. I don't remember, but <sighs> out here, out at Benzino, when the text message came through the iPad and the son was playing with it, she found out that Benzino was corresponding with a transgender and she went out there out of him saying that, you know, he's messing with transgenders. Uh, Benzino says that him and Shauna just had a relationship based on they was getting ready to work on the movie together. So, and that came on the heels of Benzino being uh, getting kicked out the red roof and, and this old footage resurfaced. This Shauna incident is some old stuff that resurfaced. So I didn't know everybody saying, oh, Benzino's going through a humiliation, Rich Wu, they doing this because his daughter's blowing up, boom, 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 boom. I don't think nobody uh, wants to be connected uh, to a transgender in this capacity for the sake of humiliation, unless the industry or the powers that may be is doing this to him. But for him to be, you know, putting himself through it for the sake of his daughter to blow up is nonsense. So, and you can see how, <coughs> excuse me, emotionally destroyed he is over the situation. He don't know how to deal with it. His way of dealing with it, <coughs> excuse me, is with violence and threatening Shauna and this, that, and the third, which <coughs> I don't agree with because I don't want to see the homie go to jail for terroristic threats. I don't want to see him act out his thoughts or the words that he say because I don't want to see him throw his wife, his life away. I don't know why I'm yawning so much, as much rest as I got today. Today is one of them days I took for myself. Uh, so I don't know where uh, Benzino is at today with this whole thing because it was starting to die down. Now, Shauna comes out and she puts out a diss track. So let me uh, put up my copyright disclaimer, you know, because I don't own this music, but I'm using it under the Copyright Act 1976, which is allowances made for fair use or purpose of such as criticism, comments, news reports, teaching scholarships, and research. Fair use is a use permitted by the copyright statute that might be otherwise be infringing, all right? And I'm using this in balance of fair use as far as such as reasons as criticism, comments, and news reporting, and teaching. So if you haven't heard this song that Shauna did, I played it in her, in, well, she they played it in her interview when I played that interview. But now you can actually hear it. And she got visuals to go with it. So here it is. And Zeno don't get mad at me, all right? Shout out to my girl, Shauna. The real industry secret, bitch. I was getting some hair from Benzino, no neck. He was all on my line. I could show you the text. He was begging for help. Love it when it go clap. He be loving on his ass. I be throwing it back. Blonde hair to my ass. It be silky as shit. Nigga, tell him that you love me. Quit hiding that shit. He be feeding me crabs. Why he gripping this ass? Nigga said I'm trying to trap him. Had to sit back and laugh. Since you want to press run, tell him how you love this kitty cat. Tell him that I got your money up. You couldn't get a check. Help you start your OnlyFans. Now you getting profit. Now you big mad. 50 cent done clocked it. Shauna the diva. I'm a big dick. Please I sit up public. He don't know me on the low. Said he need I. Baddest bitch you ever had. Nigga really should be proud of me. Now run and speak on that. Z, cause that's the real team. Getting some head. Getting, getting some head.
Hold on, let me go through this one more time because there's some things that I noticed. Shout out to my girl Shauna. The real industry secret, bitch. I was getting some hair from Benzino, no neck. He was all on my line. I could show you the text. He was begging for help. Love it when it go clap. He be loving on his ass. I be throwing it back. Blonde hair to my ass. It be silky as shit. Nigga, tell him that you love me. Quit hiding that shit. He be feeding me crabs. Why he gripping this ass? Nigga, Said I'm trying to trap him, had to sit back and laugh Since you wanna press run, tell him how you love this kitty cat Tell him that I got your money up, you couldn't get a check Help you start your OnlyFans, now you getting profit Now you big mad, 50 cent done clocked it Shauna the diva, I'm a big dick, please I Sit up public, he don't know me on the low, said he need I Baddest bitch you ever had, nigga, really should be proud of me Now run and speak on that, Z, cause that's the real key now I have a problem with this because this girl went and said she never met Benzino she never, she said they didn't have no sexual relationship so now you playing with this man's manhood Def you def def defamation of character here is a, a, a understatement. Because you went public and said nothing happened. Now you're saying he gave, you said he gave you oral. And you're saying that he, he, he hit you like he had anal sex with you. Now, this, this is, man, this is scary, right? Because y'all seen how Benzino was acting with just the allegations. Now, you want to come out and put out this song? And you you sitting there making it sound like he gave you oral sex, dog. And I, I'm not saying you a liar. I'm not saying he's a liar. I'm not saying you telling the truth. You said when it was when y'all was talking, I mean when you did the interview, that nothing happened. Now you could have been lying to save him or not, but now this is very contradictive, uh, Shauna. And how do you think this man is supposed to, to, to uh, react to this? And clearly you're not scared or you want to put out no song. And, and just because you are a transgender female don't mean that you're a woman and you scared. Because clearly the, the man in you is like, nigga, I ain't no punk, nigga, and, and drop the diss track. Like he's going, he's going to flip. He's going to flip. He's probably going to be mad at people that played it this down over. But man, we didn't create it. We didn't start this. It's public record, and some of us are just going to uh, talk about it because it's current events, but. Shauna, if you you can't go on record and say nothing happened with y'all and then drop this record because you upset that he, he did interviews or whatever, or you had a change of heart, you're playing a dangerous game, young lady. You're playing a dangerous game because you see how this dude is acting, and I don't know if you are trying to test him to see if he going to carry out his thing, his threats.
But you can't, you can't. You can't stand in his defense and then turn around and try to throw him under the bus. Because now we don't know if you're telling the truth and now we don't know if you're lying. But we do know that you're trying to entertain the people with this. Now, I really don't. I really don't know what to say in the, in the, in this situation because, like, what do you like if you a guy, and this happens, and the person come out and say nothing happened between y'all, and then they turn around and said you gave him uh you gave him oral and you had and and y'all was intimate with each other after you said nothing happened like you were really pushing this dude to snap and you open you gave him you opened the door for him to uh sue the hell out of you because you you changed your story up Yo, I, yeah, I, I hope at this point Benzino had enough conversations with enough people that he's already got his lawyers and all that other stuff and, and trying to deal with this on a legal level because I would hate to see him run down on Shauna and be beefing on some rap, rap beef because this ain't gonna go well for him because of the whole transition of the, the transgender. He's gonna be looked at as he not fighting a man, he's fighting a woman. And he's gonna be in trouble for that. And I don't think it's funny that she playing with his manhood like that. Now, now, if they had some type of relations, she shouldn't have lied about it. She just should have just plead the fifth or not talk about it or whatever. But poking the bear and poking the bear and poking the bear and poking the bear, and you see how he acted? It's not funny. It's entertaining, but it's not funny, Shauna. And you want to find yourself in a bad position because clearly he, he made it clear that he don't care about going to jail about his manhood. So whoever's uh, pushing you to go ahead and keep doing this stuff, you might want to get on the phone with Benzino and y'all might want to talk this out before it gets ugly. But here's the scary part. Let me show you the scary part. Shout out to my girl, Shauna. I'm going to pause it. I don't want to hear it again. Look at this mother effer. Now, I'm not calling your mother effer, but look at this person, right? <laughs> hey, Lionel, you stupid. Hey, uh, <coughs> Me and my own girl, we was talking about this <laughs> earlier. <coughs> All y'all women out there... <laughs> That think y'all the shit? Because y'all got y'all bodies done? This nigga look just as good as y'all do. This is the scary shit out here. That all y'all women look the same. A man can go and look just like y'all. All, all y'all women look the same. All y'all got that fake hair, that wig. 
Oh, y'all got that fake titties. Not all y'all. Not all y'all. Y'all know what I mean. All y'all that got y'all bodies done. And y'all all got that fake belly button. My homegirl's like, yo. I mean, yo, her body is bad. I can't front. This is what my homegirl's saying to me. Yo, but her body is crazy. Niggas will get trapped. This, all y'all women look the same now. All y'all women look the same now. She looks just, well, he looks like all y'all girls that's on Instagram right now. With the wig, the hair, the makeup, the, the, the implants, the snatch body, all all y'all women are making it easier. Not all y'all women. Yeah, I'm, please don't get caught up with me saying all y'all women. All y'all women that get the plastic surgery. All y'all women that get the plastic surgery. Y'all not wanting to be natural is making y'all all look the same. Y'all all look the same. With this, And y'all all got this. Look at this. Cut the head off. And you tell me, do she look different from any other girl you be on Instagram watching, you be scrolling? Let's, fellas, let's keep it 100. We done cut the head off. Do you see a PP? Do you see a PP? She looks, he looks just like any woman on Instagram. Well, he's just smart enough to not to get the old stupid ass, big ass donkey donk that don't look right. Or the, 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 boo, the booze that don't look right. This is every girl on Instagram that got their body done. Oh, y'all think she don't got no no ding ding no more? I don't know. I don't care. I'm just saying. Like, for women to be out here talking about, oh, uh, y'all men be out here chasing transgenders this hour. Y'all are the ones who encourage it. Y'all sit here and make men y'all girlfriends. Y'all got men doing y'all hair. Y'all encouraging men to uh, be women. Y'all hang out with them. And then they start looking like y'all. Cookie, what up? They start looking like y'all. And then y'all encouraging, hey, girl, hey, girl. And then... A nigga like me, I'll call you a bitch, and y'all be ready to throw a nigga in, in the jail cell. But these gay dudes call y'all bitches all day, and y'all don't say nothing. Yeah, bitch. Yeah, bitch. And then let me be like, yo, bitch, pass that soda. Who the fuck you calling a bitch? This nigga just called you a bitch a hundred times. Oh, just because he talking to high pitch and... And he's feminine. You did you just rule his dick out out the picture, and he can call you a bitch because he's gay. But if I call you a bitch, you fucking offended. What the fuck is the difference? Because he's really not your girlfriend. He's your male friend that is gay, but he can call you a bitch all day. Yeah, bitch. Yeah, bitch. Yeah, bitch. And let me say, scare up, man, get the fuck out of here, bitch. Who you calling a bitch? This double standard thing is, is kind of crazy with y'all women. Now, a lot of y'all going to say, 
if Benzino was to see Shauna and beat up, I ain't saying he gonna win because that's still a man. He probably could fight, but. Y'all will say Benzino's wrong. Then you're going to have the people that say he's not wrong. She shouldn't have did that. She shouldn't have went too far. Whoa, 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 whoa. She said she wasn't dealing with him. Some of y'all going to say, yo, she deserve it. So who's wrong and who's right in this situation? What do we do? What do we do? Do we get mad at Benzino if he flip out? Or do we understand his, his, his emotions? I wouldn't want nobody playing with me like that. Like, I was talking to a gay person and they was talking to me and they called me boo. Yeah. Yeah, boo. And I, and I and I almost snapped. And I said, oh, let me be, let me be careful, you know, because they mean that may not mean nothing. They might be in their environment and in their head and 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 forgot that don't ever call me boo. You know what I'm saying? But then again, I can't take it as a term of endearment. Because they know I don't get down like that, but that's how gay people talk. But I had made a conscious effort to myself that if I'm ever speaking to that person again and they refer to me as boo, I'm going to let them know, please don't call me boo. Please do not refer to me as boo. You know what I'm saying? I understand you gay and I understand that's how you talk, but I don't want you to call me boo ever again. You know, I let it slide once because it probably was a slip up. But if they, the person calls me boo ever again, hey, buddy, my name is Arthur, Artie Choke. You could even call me nigga. With a GA. But please don't ever call me boo. Because if you let a person get in that comfort zone and doing that, they say that shit in public, it can look crazy. So when and and I and that made me feel that way because when I hear Benzino on the phone and she like uh yeah boo or whatever or whatever she was calling Benzino, it it makes it look like uh, it was something that it couldn't have been nothing and but that's just how gay people talk. Just like they call women bitches and women don't get offended, but if I call them a bitch, they they ready to get their daddy to kill a nigga. So I can understand Benzino's frustration and I can understand it from Shauna's side if there was something going on. But the, the way you can't go public and say nothing happened and then come out with a diss record and talk about a nigga was giving you hate. Like, You gonna make that man crazy. That's my name is Double A, and that's all. <laughs> Listen, everybody going to get into that fans only crap, especially after that. Meet me outside, girl. Release. She made fifty something million. Yeah, I guess. Yes, you have to check them the first time. Never let them slide with that because it goes wrong quickly. Right? Because they have the law, the law to protect them. Exactly. 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 Instagram, I'm going to come back on. This live is ending. So I'm going to end it and I'm going to come back on. Hold on, y'all. Let me just type this in real quick.
Mary J. Blige got her own day in Atlanta, man. That's big. Yeah, I could, I could add everything on this later. Let me just throw this up there. That music last night is in my head. I'm telling you, I'm saying in my head, like, let me show you, let me show you where to go. That song is so stuck in my head. Let me show y'all, let me show y'all us on the dance floor. I mean, we was lit. I'm going to have to upload some of this battery footage later. <clears throat> let me show you. Let me show you where to go. All right, so let me just give y'all just let me just get y'all energy up because it's Friday. This right here is gonna make y'all want to go out and party tonight. <laughs> I'm telling you, man, Mary. I love Mary J. Blige, man. Let me show you, let me show you the way to go. Y'all ready to party? Get a married. Y'all see Ty in the back? That's my new dancing partner. Y'all see Ty in the back, right there on the left. Y'all see it right there? Right behind Mary. Woo, it was lit. It was lit. Now, Ty. Now, some of y'all may think y'all's Mary J. Blige fans. Y'all not Mary J. Blige fans. I thought I was a Mary J. Blige fan. But uh, Ty even got me beat. She got y'all beat. I'm going to show y'all what I'm talking about. Look at Ty's tattoo on the back of her thigh, y'all. That's her Instagram if you want to follow her. Look at that, y'all. That is on the back of Ty's thigh. Like, I'm like, she must love Mary on a whole nother level. Like, I was like, yeah, I, like, whoa, okay. Oh, 
Hold on, let me pull it up on here so I can put it on the screen. Yeah. Let me show you, let me show you where to go. Y'all see that? Y'all ain't no married fans. That's what you call a married fanatic. I don't know if I could do that for some uh, artists that I love. I would have to sleep with them first. Like, <laughs> I'll put, put their face on my chest if I was beating it. I don't know about that. Man. And now we got to give our rest in peace condolences to the voice of death row records. Joel, man, look at her right here with Nate Dog. May they rest in peace. If you're not familiar who Joel, Joel is, you know her. She's all over the chronic. You know, let me ride, Dre joint, creep it. Got my old D.O.D.'s. Got my Glock clock as soon as it would be. As soon as I said it, seems I got sweaty by a nick with the tech nine trying to take my. You want to make noise, make noise. My homies coming like the Gotti boys. All them, all of her singing on all those songs, that's Joel. Michelle A is the voice of Ruthless Records. Joel is the voice of Death Row Records. And if you're not familiar with her, she was a gangster chick. You know, she done pop people. She was trigger happy. <laughs> and she did a lot of interviews uh, more recently. You know, if you put her name in, Jewel with two L's, you'll be able to... Um, You'll be able to uh, get to know her a little more. And here she's only 54, man. I don't know why all our, our people are dying in their 50s. Like, what happened to the life capacity of seeing 100, 110? Let's see what happened here. R&B singer Joel Capels has died, age 54. Rapper Daz Dillinger now said the hip hop star signed with legendary label Death Row Records in 1992 and worked with the likes of Dr. Dre and N.W.A. Sharing the sad news on Instagram alongside a photo of them together. Daz wrote, rest in peace. I'm sad this really hurt, but Joel's passed this morning. Well, death row for life. We are gonna miss her. Classic music family. Alone. There has not been an official statement from Joel's family regarding her death, but we all got love for Joel. She will be missed. I wish somebody uh, released her solo album.
Now, not only did we lose her, in the same 12 hours, we lose Kevin Samuels. Now, this story, I done heard several stories about this. So let's see what the story is now. Kevin Samuels in a controversial YouTube. Kevin Samuels, Kevin Samuels, a controversial YouTube personality known for polarizing views on women and relationships has died, police confirmed. And a report... And I heard this last night after the Mary party, like during the Mary party, but I it didn't it wasn't fully out yet. So we all was in the party and it was just speculation. But as we can see, it's now official. And a report the Atlanta Police Department said emergency services were called to Samuels apartment Thursday morning. Upon arrival, a woman told police that Samuels complained of chest pain and fell on top of her as she tried to help him. The woman, a nurse who met Samuels the day before and spent the night with him, called 911 and asked them to contact the building's front desk for the defibrillator. Liberator. I don't know what a defibrillator is, which is typically used in the event of cardiac arrest. Firefighters performed CPR while Samuels was unresponsive on the floor of his apartment. Police said he was later transported to Piedmont Hospital. Samuel mothers, Samuel's mother, Beverly Samuels Birch, confirmed his death to NBC News. She said she learned her son had died from a post on social media. That was a terrible thing for social media to put that out. I didn't even know. I hadn't even been notified. Samuel Birch told the uh, outlet, all I'm doing is requesting that people pray for us. People attempts to reach Samuel Birch on Friday afternoon unsuccessful. Rolling Stone reported Samuel's age as 56 and police confirmed this, confirmed his year of birth as 1965. Samuels had a large social media following, including more than 1.4 million subscribers on YouTube. God damn. That, he had a lot of subscribers. Y'all got to subscribe to my channel, man. He had a million subscribers. And I'll be out here giving y'all all his jewels and dropping knowledge. And I ain't got a million subscribers. What I got to do? Start kicking y'all women back in? <laughs> y'all more than... 839 videos published on Samuel's YouTube channel with many receiving hundreds of thousands of views, yet many have drawn the ire of critics. I want to know why he died. That's that's what I want to hear. I don't, all this, what he, what did he die from? According to a police report obtained by TMZ, EMS was called to Kevin's home Thursday morning for a person injured and found Kevin unresponsible, unresponsive on the floor of his apartment. The police report states that they talked to a woman who said they met Kevin Wednesday night and spent the night with him at his place in Atlanta. I'm not meeting a chick and inviting her to my house the next night. I'm not doing that. I'm sorry. I'm a little bit different. The woman who is a nurse said Kevin started to complain of chest pains on Thursday morning and she tried to help him. She told cops he fell on top of her, so she called 911 and crested a defibrillator 
from the front desk of the apartment complex. According to the report, Kevin was taken to Piedmont Hospital. This is the same goddamn information. Why did he die? Where y'all getting all these stories up from? All right, hold on. Let's see. Kevin Samuels, cause of death. All right, Kevin Samuels cause of death. We have done a deep study on it and we found that there is no official and reliable information about Kevin Samuels' death, nor his family shared about the same. But still, this news has caused a, a stir among the people who were known to him. There is no doubt Kevin Samuels was controversial and in that personality who used, where is how he died? How are y'all out here reporting all this stuff? However, some people shared their heartfelt condolences with Samuel's family, but we hope he might be okay and this news would become a hoax. However, it is however, it is not sure at this point in time if he is alive or has died really. And we know he's dead. Why did he die, y'all? All y'all here reporting all this uh this stuff here, how he died and it is the Viagra and the and the, and the Red Bull, then his cocaine with, with fentanyl. Where are y'all getting y'all proof? There's no, nothing public saying what he died from. Where are y'all getting this, this information? Right here, cause of death not revealed. Like, you tell me all these people out here reporting this stuff. Where's the toxicology report? I don't even think you could get that in 10 hours. Unverified reports shared on social media claim that the YouTuber died after suffering a cardiac arrest. Yo, hey, y'all. There is no real report on how this man died, y'all. Like, look how long we had to wait for to find out what happened with DMX. You mean to tell me everybody out here reporting that this man died? From us, from uh, substance abuse, which ain't is not stated anywhere, unless they were sitting there sniffing with him. You got to be a cokehead to be sitting there talking about he died of coke, and it ain't no proof, unless you was in there doing coke with him. Police Department of Atlanta has plenty of information there. Where is it at, uh, Pretty Gangster? They got information. Are you saying they got? You saying they got the information? Is it something that we could pull up, Pretty Gangster? You said people in Atlanta got the inside scoop. How they get it? They was there. Pretty gay, so I need an answer real quick. 
Only people that was there was the woman that he was sleeping with and then the police that was called. So who in Atlanta has this information? Pretty case though, where you at? We need this information. We need to know who in Atlanta or the police department in Atlanta Serious complained of chest pain, and a nurse that was at his apartment tried to help him, but he fell on top of her. Girl, I just read that. <laughs> I, 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 we, we. That's the information that we all got. Where is this information of people knowing exactly what happened? You will send it. Are you going to send it where? The officers that arrived to the scene. So the officers that arrived to the scene, did they say the cause of death? Because police ain't uh, doctors. Let's see if there's a video up here with the police. At this is Samuel. I don't see no videos with the police talking about it. It was their news station. Uh, Pretty gangster, you saying you have it. Can I get it? Just tell us where it's at and I'll pull it up. I want to see the police talking about this. You text it. Put this on the screen. Sent from Pretty Gangster. Let me show you. Okay, here we go. On May 5th, 2022, Officer J. Figueroa, Unit 2, 2205, responded to a call at 297 East Paces Ferry Northeast. I don't even tell his uh, address. Uh, regarding a person injured upon arrival. Figaro observed the fire department engine number 21 performing CPR to a black male unresponsive on the floor of his apartment. I then met Miss Hortensia Al Alcantara, who identified the male as Mr. Kelvin Samuels. Ms. Alicantra stated that she met Mr. Samuels last night, came to his apartment and spent the night with him. Ms. Alcan Alcantara also said that early morning, Mr. Samuels complained of chest pain. 
and she attempted to help him, but he fell on top of her and proceeded to notify 911. Yeah, this is all the same story. And it don't say his cause of death. Yeah, this is what everybody's reporting. It ain't it ain't none different from what everybody's reporting. It's, there's no toxicology report for anybody to say he died for Viagra, a mix of Viagra and Red Bull, cocaine, fentanyl. There's nothing for y'all to prove that. There's nothing to prove that the 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 coroner would have to do a toxicology report, some type of medical examiner, and then it'll be said what he died from. I want to see the woman. I ain't even think about that. I want to look her up. What was her name? Or teen Sia? She's Spanish? Alcantara. Let me see. Let's see what she looked like. Her name popped up quick, dog. Kevin. This is her. is the girl stick it in the snicker i'll tell you that i don't care i think she is she wouldn't have been coming to my house and just meeting her i'm sorry and you turn up dead nah buddy that's your girl right there I have some more information. I'm sure our Instagram is probably private now. Yep. She done deleted all her posts. <laughs> She deleted all her posts, y'all. Ah, it might be some suspect activity here. Kevin, what are you doing? Me and girls and taking them to your house, dude. The first night, you don't know what this girl could have gave you. But that guy, them, there's her Instagram right here, y'all. You see RN? Registered nurse, 32, no kids, ATL. Why do put women put up no kids? Like, oh, she ain't got no kids. I'm going to talk to her. You know, I care if you got kids or not. They got all her posts before she deleted it. Suspicious. Look at that, y'all. Why would she delete all her posts, dog? He's taking a chance.
Oh, hold on. See, this is what I'm talking about. Thank you, pretty gangster. Let me show y'all this. What do this say, y'all? This is why y'all need to subscribe to my channel, man. Because I don't be talking. We do research over here. What does it say? Today's what? May 6th, correct? Yes. Right? Look. Y'all see it, right? The date, Kevin Samuels, age 53, black male, date of birth, 5-5-22. The Office of the Fulton County Medical Examiner performed an autopsy on Mr. Kevin Samuels on Friday, May 6, 2020. The cause of death, pending, pending. As you can see, this is Fulton County. Pending fake news out there, y'all. Pending. Let everybody know. All those people reporting Viagra, cocaine. Pending. There's no goddamn toxicology report. And you see where this is coming from. The medical examiners. One second, y'all. Sorry about that. Family called. You got to stop. You know, you never know what's going on. Family first. Um. So, everybody out here that is speculating to how he died, how about y'all wait and find out what the hell happened? Because you, you never know. This girl could have poisoned his ass. You never know. But we'll wait and see. But thank you, pretty gangster. We got the research team over here. We just don't go out here and just say stuff. We do the research. We do the research. And I will do it right there in front of y'all. So all y'all that... uh. Somebody said fentanyl <coughs> is found in his system. They need to investigate that chick and lock her ass up, just like they locked up the dudes that gave Michael uh, K. Williams fentanyl. Locked him up for murder. Why did that girl take everything off her page? Why? Why? She probably is a suspect for now. They probably ain't saying nothing. She's a registered nurse, this, that, and the other. Wait till they wait till that toxicology report come back. Let it be fentanyl or something in the system that gave him a heart attack. Somebody ass is going to jail. And A initials is OA. <laughs> Somebody send me an email. Let me check. Shout out Bev G. I hope you are uh, getting better, love. No, I ain't got no email. You must have sent it a while ago. 
Send it to Choke No Joke. Go to my website, ChokeNoJokeProductions.com, and send me a message. It doesn't mean that she gave him drugs. He could have the drugs. He could have had the drugs herself and did it. It doesn't mean she gave him drugs. He could have had the drugs herself and did it. I think you fucked up on that sentence. Um, females don't use these supply men. We give it to them. I hear you speak, speaking. Toxiology can take months, so people should just wait. Yeah, they everybody just running out there, got them promoting drugs and, and Viagra. Y'all don't know how this man died. Like, come on, man. Don't do that to that man. Never know. He could have just died from something that he had that we didn't know about. <laughs> Somebody said, yeah, he got, why, wait, 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 wait. Why do so many people dislike this guy? I mean, y'all speak about people bad and deaf. That's not cool. Jay, why, Jay, why, why? A woman supplied Robin Johnson, a blues singer, with something that killed him. I'm not, I, I'm not ruling out a chick can't give you nothing. I remember one time I was in Miami and I was hanging out and these girls tried to give me a drink. And all I drink is vodka, for the most part, if not champagne. And then my drink comes back, and it's cloudy. Like, I'm looking at the drink. Vodka looks like this. It looks like they put a goddamn, you ever put an Alka-Seltzer in, 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 in the water and see it fizz up? The, 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 the glass is fizzing. And I'm like, yo, what's this? They, don't worry about it. Just drink it. Shit. <sighs> F out of here. I'm not drinking that. And then I turn around, look, and I see my ex and her new man. They standing in the doorway of the club watching me to see if, if I drink the drink. Man, y'all just try to set me up, man. Um, my last name is no joke for a reason. I don't play with stuff. Even though I ain't my real last name, but you know what I mean. But, yeah, I had some girls in Miami try to slip me a Mickey, and I know that they did it because somebody put them up to it. So you got to be careful, man. You got to be careful. I don't. I only take drinks from the bartender that's making my drink. Unless I really know you and love you and trust you. I'm not taking a drink from anybody. I'm sorry. Somebody say he died suspiciously the same way as Dr. Khaled. There's a video on his last live where she made him drink. She was trying to be seen while he was doing his live. I see, yo, I'm, yo, this is the thing that's bugging me out. I watched his last live the night before. I watched it. I just started following him like Monday or Tuesday. I'm like, y'all gotta check this dude out. I watched his last live. It was him, and then he had two girls on there when I was watching it. And then the next day, he's dead. <laughs> Somebody said, we stay at the bartender when they make our drinks. I, I watch the bartenders when they make my drinks. Like, but I'm not going to uh, just have anybody pass me a drink. All right, Donna, take care. He was married twice and leaves behind a daughter. Well, I, I just, I'm just curious. To, yeah, I, I'm telling you, that girl going to deleting all that stuff from her page, that's the first sign of guilt. Just because a man died that you was hanging out with, 
don't prompt you to go and delete all your your goddamn messages, all your e, all your posts. That don't prompt that. I'm curious to why she did that. And who meets a woman at a night, one night, and then takes her to her house and spends the night with her? Like, I'm not comfortable doing that. I'm not going to sleep in a bed with a total stranger. I'm not. Definitely not in my place. Hotel, probably. Like, man, listen. YouTube is the new goddamn CBS, NBC, ABC, Fox. People watch YouTube and don't watch regular TV. We just can't be out here going to sleep with no chick that we met. You, This girl might know you from YouTube. He was talking black families, preaching more to y'all sisters to get y'all acts together more than other sisters, than them other sisters. Yeah, that, that's what I, I, I felt like. I felt like he was a guy that was encouraging women to step step they they game up or step they goals up or look for stuff better i don't i don't even think that he was bashing women i think he he had tough love and encouraged women to be stronger it's a lot of women out here that's doing good for themselves but mentally ain't in a strong place i just don't feel like the dude was that 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 bad i mean i like i just said i just started following him this week but from the little videos and stuff that I seen, I, I, the thing that made me watch was when he did Nicki Minaj and he told her she was a 10. I felt like he was a 100% cat. Like, this, he's bullshit. Like, telling Nicki Minaj, she's a 10 with all the work that she got. If she's a 10, Sean is a goddamn 10. Because <laughs> Sean, the work looked better than Nicki Minaj. <laughs> How y'all letting the man go get Betty body work to y'all? I'm sorry, ladies. What is y'all doing? There's <laughs> probably women out here that saw that Shauna video and was envious as hell. Because my homegirl was like, I mean, her, her body was better than mine. Yo, doc. <laughs> Damn, girl, who you went to? Because you looking better than half these goddamn uh, chicks out there. Gabe Michelle needed to go to your goddamn body. Uh, your body doctor. Oh, my God, y'all. But, uh. Rest in peace, Kevin Samuels. Rest in peace, Joel. Rest in peace, my girl Mignon. I just found out last night that she's dead. And she's been dead since 2020. I got to do a whole separate show about that. Because that 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 one tore me up last night. I found that out last night. I found out about Kevin Samuels last night. I woke up to Joel's. I had family issues yesterday. Like yesterday, it was a, a, a hell of an emotional roller coaster. Like I had so much fun with marrying them, but it was so much gloomy stuff going on over the world on top of it. It was like, Jesus Christ, dog. What is going on out here? You said Bernice Burgos has the best body, though. The best uh, done up body, you mean? I don't know. Hers is starting to look a little clay, clayly. I don't know if that's a word. Clayish. I don't even know if clayish looks a, is a word. But it gets to a point when they 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 body start looking like clay, like a bad molded clay. Like it, it just start. It, it don't look. 
it don't look fresh no more. Like it, it's starting to look. Damn, I don't even know how to explain it. Let me let me see. I think I got a picture. I, don't, I won't show her face. Of a person I know that got some body work done. See, in most of these pictures that y'all be seeing, these women be airbrushing they self. Like, like shorty right here, hers ain't get all clay yet, but if you look close, you see how the leg is and how big the butt is? It starts getting like a little clay, clayly look like right there. But that looks good standing in the water. But... See, that's the same person. You see that how it looks? You see that leg? And then you see how that butt, you see the top of the leg right here? You see that? So at some point, you know, it, it looks good, but when they get older and stuff, Dude, or you had it for a long time. Now, let me show you. Oh, this is a real booty. You see the difference? I want to show you one that is not airbrushed because a lot of women, they be seeing their girlfriends and they be like, oh, it looks nice though. Um, oh, they got a good job or this, that, and the other. They're not men. And if you're not a lesbian, you're not going to tell me nothing about a woman that got her body done because you don't get to see her naked with all the goddamn scars and, and 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 injection holes and all that stuff. So for y'all women, y'all be sitting there, and I hate that y'all keep saying that these women keep doing it for us. Women don't get their body done for us. They do it to compete with other women. They do it because they're inspired by their girlfriend. They see their girlfriend, they shit look good, and they jealous, so they go and get it done. They ain't doing it for, oh, because that's what men like. Bullshit. A man will still cheat on your ass with a fake ass. So if you think again a fake ass is going to keep a man, you got it twisted. Well, I'm going to show you what it looked like. To a, a, a man, hey, it's like yeah, a lot of these women now, they put their booty before the brains. Most of their posts be about they butt. They walking from the camera, or they showing they they camera. Like last night, I was in the party, and this girl walked over to the camera. I mean, walked over to the mirror. To check herself out, right? Now, I remember when women used to go to the mirror and check their makeup and this, that, and other, make sure they look good. This girl goes to the mirror to see how her ass is looking. And I say to her, I said, you really came to the mirror to check and make sure your ass look good? And she was so embarrassed, like, damn, you caught me doing that? Like, shorty, you really care about how your ass is looking in that outfit? You're not looking to see if you got boogers hanging from your nose or nothing. But you you making sure that your ass is sitting right in this little outfit with your ass out. Like, all y'all women dress like wrestlers now. Y'all don't wear jeans and shit. 
that here go the ass I was talking about. I hope this person don't see this and know that this is them because I'm not really trying to put them on blast. But I just want you to see when the ass ain't airbrushed and looking presented to y'all because y'all seeing the pictures. Let me show y'all when they take pictures before they get airbrushed for the magazines or the photo shoot or whatever. This is what a real ass injected ass look like. And I'm not going to tell y'all who that is because I don't want to embarrass them. But you see all them holes? You see them, them, that, like this one is still pussing right here at the bottom. You see that? You see them other dog spots? That's them shooting all. You see that little leg? You see, that's what it really looked like for y'all women that think, oh, we get it done because y'all men like it. Imagine me seeing this badass dime and she get naked and her ass looks like this. You really think I'm turned on? Oh, y'all like that. Y'all like that. Now, look, here's the same person. Airbrushed. You see how they, they made it look smooth in the pictures? Same ass. <coughs> the same ass. Now, ladies, do you really believe? Bev G, what up? Um, I hope you're feeling better, Bev G. I just gave you a shout out. I didn't even know you wasn't in. Um, now, do y'all ladies find that attractive? Do y'all really think that men are sitting around having her walk back and forth? with We looking at that. Not what y'all think we looking at. Because some of y'all women don't know what a fake ass look like. Well, oh, we do that for the men. We do that for the men. Y'all not doing it for us. You can die getting on that table. You tell me you dying for a man? Please save that bullshit. Y'all get that done. Because y'all want to compete with your girlfriend. You want your girlfriend jealous and envious of you. You was probably the girlfriend out the crew that got no attention. Then you get your body done. You're getting all the attention. Now the one that was getting all the attention ain't getting no more attention. And she's upset. You getting all the, all the men is looking at you now because you got this fake butt. And you go and get yours done. Because your girl's getting all the attention and you're not getting the attention no more. So that's why most of y'all go and get your body done. But if you think that us men love that, and I, I ain't even bring up the fact that how some of them feel. Some of them as hard as a bowling ball. Way before these girls started doing the fat transfers and all that other stuff, some of them joints feel hard as a bowling ball and you cannot grip it. Like, you cannot do this. You won't see no imprint going. If you grab a butt, like, your fingers don't go like that. You grab a butt, it go like this. It's hard as a rock. So, uh, ladies, stop with the cat. Y'all don't do it for men. Because what about all the girls that's lesbians that get their body done? Who they doing it for? Who the lesbians getting, getting their bodies done for? Oh, exactly. Okay. Now what? Lesbians don't get their body done? Don't tell me lesbians don't get their body done. Who they doing it for? Men? 
FBI. Joke, no joke, man. Please subscribe to the channel. I want a million subscribers. Man, I'll be out here kicking all this Afro listics. And this man had a thousand, a million subscribers. Y'all ain't showing me no love, man. A million subscribers is do that. I'm tripping off of that. I've been on YouTube since the beginning. This dude got a million subscribers. I hope some of his ladies come over here. Show no joke, man. Pretty gangster, thank you for all the research. I love you, sis. I holler at y'all at the next one. Life with success. Rest in peace. Kevin Samuels. Rest in peace, Jewels. Jewel. No other grass right now. I got something to handle right here. Life with success. This is what it is, y'all. Choke, no joke on the mic. Life with success. Uh. That's what it is. <laughs> Let's go. Life with success. Is this what it is? Paparazzi running around flashing your kids. Trying to catch them with a gun or a cig. Hoping that they fall in some type of addiction. Baby mama hitting you with numbers like addiction. She's so high, you feel like she pimping. It's alright, bitch. Yeah, I'm tripping. But it's better than the fucking max. <laughs> you can have every time before you see this Jimmy again. If life was a movie, you'd be going in the wind. And this flow ain't conceptualized or gin and time. But how ironic. You file once a nigga went and got it popping. I guess that's why you pushed up when I was Milano hopping. Out in high school, fresh with jewels. Looking successful as I do. I made you a star in the hood, kept you in leathers and bamboo. Fresh footwear, girl, I kept you good. Every color to match, your butter sauce. Smooth you the edge cold. From the concourse, okay. left mom house in the bed all. Now you write that shit all off. Like taxes, make me wanna move your parts with chainsaw and axes. I need to roll up and get back to relaxing. Uh huh. This is this what it is? Like with success, huh? Is this what it is? Chicks you took care of. Motherfuckers you looked out for Hey, white turn on you got that motherfucking hand out Is this what it is? Life with success, sometimes it sucks uh -huh. When people want something's when they call up yeah. People wanna hang, cause you got a new truck Let's go. Now you hang with chicks that you dreamed you fuck Haters want you stuck, chicks trying to get knocked up Cake in the oven and eat your cake up Chick get your own and raise our stakes up The more you get, yo, the shit get iller So I might go from the glove one and turn the thriller So a dealers get extorted by Popo when they needed a filler And the shit get realer They wanna clap back but sit back and be a grilla Or be on the manhunt like Larry Davis that's on the real love. Success have a lot of dudes on painkillers or puffing that fuzzy like caterpillars. It ain't easy to deal with. Life with success, huh? <laughs> is this what it is? Life with success. <laughs> is this what? It is?